Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit behind with this vid, but I was busy this week there. Ten reasons why Batista's return sucked. Why his return on Raw sucked. Number one, the skinny emo jeans. What the fuck was that? You know, Batista is supposed to look like a tough guy, not, you know, I don't want to say bad words there, but he's not supposed to look like that. He's supposed to look like a tough guy. Him coming out with emo jeans that a 14-year-old girl would wear there. Not cool, not hip, nothing, just stupid. Number two, he was wearing sunglasses indoors. Why? <laughs> what for? Does he, you know, did he think he was a movie star coming back there? No need to wear sunglasses indoors. Number three, he didn't do his finisher properly. The Batista bomb is supposed to go all the way down. Not just, you know, throw the guy like Kevin Nash there. It's not done right. Number four, his promo sucked big time. Hello, Randy. I'm coming for that. A yeah, big fucking whoop there. Just a garbage promo. Number five, wearing his little jacket with no shirt. Who the fuck does this? Only a goofball. Some, you know, only schmuck losers. People with an attitude problem of some kind would walk around with a jacket, no shirt, getting on the ropes, showing off his abs. Yeah, Batista. You know, the fuck was that? Who, who does this? Only retards would do that. Number six, it looked botchy. The whole segment looked cheap, weird, and botchy. Orton stands behind Batista. He walks up to him to start the segment. Batista's just walking around. You know, didn't look right. It seemed botchy and weird. Number seven. He looked like an old man trying to look young. Straight up. You know, an old guy there and he is old trying to look hip and cool and it was a major fail number eight he looked too skinny straight up the man made it to wwe because of steroids not because of talent okay he got in when he was like 55 years so got a fucking steroids and now he comes back skinny so basically whatever batista had is gone now now it's just a skinny Elton John with his abs and the fuck out. He's not a pretty boy. He's like 50 years old for fuck's sakes. Number nine, it just felt flat and uneventful. It wasn't good. It was like any other moment. It's supposed to be a big comeback and it was just boring. How sad. Number 10. It was overshadowed by John Cena. And maybe that was a good thing. Alrighty, till next time. Peace.